Hi guys, Kepler and I have so much fun stuff to do today for music. It's going to be really exciting. So let's get started with our hello everybody. Hello Kepler. Hi guys. Hello everybody. So glad to see you. Hello everybody. So glad to see you too. Hello to Bandit. So glad to see you. Hello to Campbell. So glad to see you too. Hello to Clayton. So glad to see you. Hello to Connor. So glad to see you too. Hello to Drake. So glad to see you. Hello to Elise. So glad to see you too. Hello to Elliot. So glad to see you. Hello to Ezra. So glad to see you too. Hello to Hannah. So glad to see you. Hello to Henry. So glad to see you too. Hello to Josie. So glad to see you. Hello to Jude. So glad to see you too. Hello to Catherine. So glad to see you. Hello to Luca. So glad to see you too. Hello to Lucy. So glad to see you. Hello to Margo. So glad to see you too. Hello to Olivia. So glad to see you. Hello to Patrick. So glad to see you too. Hello to Perry. So glad to see you. Hello to Vivi. So glad to see you too. Hello to Kepler. So glad to see you. Hello to Miss Emily. So glad to see you. So you might be curious. Why there's a music stand is because Kepler has brought his instrument to share with us today. So exciting. So Kepler, will you get your instrument out and we need to know first off, what instrument is this, Kepler? This instrument is a violin. And Kepler, you've been playing the violin for what, four months or something like that? Mm -hmm. It's pretty new for him, but he is willing to share with us. Oh, oh, there's two pieces. So if this is the violin, what's this? This is the bow. Oh, the bow. Hmm. So there seems to be a lot of different things on here. Could you tell the kids the different parts? Yes. Let me know if you want me to hold something. D right here is these are the strings. Right here is the chin rest. Where the chin oh, goes. the chin rest. That makes sense. Uh -huh. Rest your chin. Um. Right here, this is my art. Like my elbow, my shoulder, shoulder rest. Yeah. Show uh, us how that fits on your shoulder. Oh, so it doesn't hurt your shoulder, so it rests. Yeah, up. I see. It's okay. It's pretty hard. So okay. Don't want that. These are the pegs. Um, when you move them, it makes the string be lower or higher. Oh, because when it gets tight, it makes it higher. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Um, the bow has. Kind of two parts that I can see too. Yeah. This this is the bow. Right here is guess what this part's called? What? The frog. It's called the frog? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, this part right here, it's horse is tail, like horse hair. This is a horse's tail right here? Oh yeah. Kids, you, it's, I'm not supposed to, I know I'm not supposed to touch it a lot, but it is just hairs really tightly together. It, but you can pull them apart. It's not, I know Kepler says it's not good to touch that. But it is actually the white part is horse hair. It's from their tails. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like a ponytail on your violin bow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, right here, there's a little, if you see this little shiny thing, um, when, I, when I spin it, it makes... The horse hair be tight, be like I'm making it loose, and now look at it. Oh, it's wigglier. Yeah, I can tell. Uh huh. And and how you twist it the other way to make it mm -hmm. tight? And then I twist it the other way, and it makes the horse hair straight. Ooh, yeah, because it's like tight. I see. Well, how do you make um? How do you make a sound with this violin? Well, to make a sound with the violin, I have to slide the bow across the strings and then they vibrate and echo inside of the violin and then you can hear the sound. Do you guys want 
want him to make a sound for us? Okay. Here, I'll show you. Gorgeous. I love that. So can you make us like a low sound? Sure. Low like a whale at the bottom of the sea. What about a high sound? High like a bird at the top of the tree. Can you say you can you go higher than that? Yeah, I can go even higher. low sounds and high sounds depending on the strings. Um, is there something you could play for us? Do you guys want to hear Kepler play a song? Let's do it. Okay, okay I'll do it. Okay.
this one for sure. Kepler likes this one too. You don't know what it is. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Yeah, the, the dish ran away with the spoon. The Kepler 
challenge. And he either has to do Mississippi Cat's piano or forte. Do you remember what forte means, Captain? Mm -hmm. Forte! It means very loud. What about piano? Quiet. Quiet, softly. Okay? So, we're both going to start, but then we're going to get louder, softly.